Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm back with another faux stepper card. So I've got quite a few faux steppers now on the channel. These are really fun ways to create a stepper card without doing any of the cutting. So if you've made stepper cards before and you have to cut with your cutting knife or your trimmer inside the card stock, you don't have to do that with these faux steppers. So you can see on the side there, how that all looks. This is a six by six size. I haven't got this size on the channel yet, but I've got um, slim line, five by seven side, faux, start, faux side stepper. Um, so yeah, check out the playlist. I'll have it up here and I'll share some of the tutorials at the end as well. You might want to watch those after. It's a really sweet style using Bagpuss here, which is a new release from Craft Stash. And I've just done a little bit of stamping but other than that, it was really quick to put together. This one probably took about 15 minutes. So let's get started. So I'm using the new 6x6 bag purse paper pad. You get four pattern papers and two top sheets and you get four of each. So you've got all these bits you can cut out as well. But you also get the ephemera pack. And I'm using the ephemera pack and a little bit from the paper pack. Okay, so very, very easy. I love making these faux stepper styles because they're, they're quick to put together. So go through all of those bits in a minute. So for the base of the stepper, you want a piece of six by nine. Along the nine inch side, you're going to score at one, two, four and a half, seven and eight. And with this one, you want to create a mountain fold, a valley fold, mountain, valley, mountain. You want to have that shape there. OK, so then go on top of that is this piece, which is 11 by three along the 11 inch side. You're going to score at half, five and a half and ten and a half. And all of these folds will be mountain folds. So mountain, mountain, mountain. So you've got that shape there. Give them all a good burnish as well. Just go over. I just put them all together like so and then just go over. So they're not as bouncy. So what's going to happen is that's going to sit inside here to create that faux stepper. So first of all, I want to stamp my sentiments. So I'm going to use this set here. It's the Creative Craft Products All Occasions Combo Sentiments. And I'm going to use You Are Unique. because I think it goes really well with the other sentiment that I've got here and Bagpuss himself. He's a pink striped cat, so he's pretty unique. So I'm going to stamp this on the very bottom here. You might want to do, if you're going to do like me, not fold it. Keep it all flat first, but it's still going to be fine. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Then I've got this piece here, which is going to decorate the front panel on this side here. If you want to do it again on the back, you can. I'm going to leave mine all white. The green is five and three quarters by two and a quarter. And the pattern paper is five and a half by two. Love that stripey paper. So I'm going to stick that one down in there next. Next, you want to take this one and I'm going to do one side at a time. So I'll do the front first. You're going to add a little glue all along that tab. And then, to be honest, you don't have to have this in the centre. You could have it off to one side. You know, everyone's going to be having slightly different decoration. But it's going to go over this middle part here. And if you want it to be exactly six inches, then lay down this piece along, you know, a straight line. And then take a ruler or something. And I can see where the six inch is there. And then I'm just going to bring that down. Or up, actually. I'm going to just line it up with this line here. Like so. And then just make sure you want about one and a half on each side, which is pretty much where that is. So I'm just going to go with that. And just let that grab to the front. And you'll see when this comes out, it pulls it out. It just gives it that really good faux stepper look without doing all the, the fancy cutting. And then again... All you need to do now with this one, because it's already in place, is just make sure it's over this one and then underneath the front and just fold that down. So you've got all that space there to write your message on the back. So if you want to do some more mats and layers there, you can do. And then just make sure that's folded down. And there you have it. And it will naturally open up 
and stand how it's supposed to. And then to decorate that front panel, this is two and three quarter by four and three quarter and then two and a half by four and a half pattern paper. And that is gonna go right in the middle there. Again, if you wanna do the same on the back, you can do. Now I'm thinking actually I might wrap some baker's twine around this. So the idea is I was gonna have the little poem at the top and then Bagpus at the bottom. And then I've got a couple of his chums here, which I thought could go either side there. So they're like looking up at him. Although I think I might swap for him there because he looks like he's staring more than the other one. She's kind of looking down, whereas those two are both kind of looking up. There you have a very quick and easy six by six faux stepper card. Lots of space on the back to write your message. It all folds down flat. I would pop this in a bouncy envelope or a box envelope if you've got dimension like I have. But it will still probably go in a normal envelope as well. But I know in some parts of the world they've got to go through rollers and stuff. So you probably won't embellish as much as I have if you're posting it. But I think it's a lovely style and I think these papers are wonderful. So thank you for watching as always. I will link as much of the product that I've used today in the description box below. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today. It really does help the channel out. I'll have some other faux stepper tutorials coming up now as well. You might want to go and watch one of those next. I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.